Hi, this is Tashran and my colleague Miracle. Today we present our DIY ventilator at moment. We know that ventilators are one of the greatest demand in this current pandemic situation. That's why we designed and fabricated a low-cost ventilator using commercial off-the-shelf components from local manufacturers. Let's dive in to see how the ventilator works. Most of the open source ventilator designs around the world doesn't include an air-oxygen mixing part to set the required fraction of inspiratory oxygen, medically termed as FiO2. But in our design, we have included the flow valves for controlling the air and oxygen supplies. In addition, following guidelines from the UK Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, we have included two operation modes that a ventilator from standard manufacturers normally have. The two modes are volume control continuous mandatory ventilation and pressure support ventilation. The pressure regulator air and oxygen supplies, once controlled with the flow valves depending on the FiO2 required by the patient, goes through the non-return check valves and mixes at the Y branch. The mixed air and oxygen are pumped into the patient's lungs with a medical ambu bag, pressed with the help of linear actuator. Depending on the stroke length and the speed of the linear actuator, the tidal volume, respiration rate and the inspiration-expiration ratio can be controlled to the set values in the control knobs. The pressure in the airway is also continuously monitored with the differential pressure sensor. In order to maintain the pressure between the set peak inspiratory pressure PIP, and the positive end expiratory pressure PEEP that's manually set at the AMBU bag. Now we'll show you a demonstration of the two modes in our ventilator. The volume control continuous mandatory ventilation mode is commonly used for patients who cannot breathe on their own. Before triggering the mode with a switch, the tidal volume, respiration rate, and the inspiration expiration ratio are placed in the control knobs. The ventilator software then converts the inputs into stroke length and the speed of the linear actuator to execute the required inhalation and exhalation process. The parameters may be varied during the process if required. In case, due to some complication in the patient's lungs, the peak inspiratory pressure PIP, is reached before supplying the said tidal volume. As a safety feature, the supply is cut off immediately and the excess pressure is safely vented out. The pressure support ventilation mode is used as an assisted control for the patient. In this mode, the patient initiates the breathing cycle. A pressure that is lower than the set positive end expiratory pressure is sensed when the patient tries to start the inhalation process. Since the mannequin cannot create the low pressure, we manually create it here. Upon sensing the low pressure in the airway, the ventilator will then supply the set tidal volume. Again, the pressure in the airway is always maintained between the set peak inspiratory pressure PIP, and the positive end expiratory pressure PIP. The respiration rate and the inspiration-expiration ratio are regulated by the patient itself. But if the patient fails to initiate the breath for a specific period after the last exhalation, the ventilator will automatically switch to volume control continuous mandatory ventilation mode. In case of any abnormalities, an alarm independent of the main software is also triggered to alert the physicians. Thank you for your attention.